Here are our top 10 favorite things to do in Costa Rica. Number 10 is waterfalls. Costa Rica is full of many beautiful waterfalls. If you love waterfalls, you're going to love Costa Rica. Number nine is the wildlife. Costa Rica has some of the most biodiverse wildlife in the world. You'll definitely want to hire a guide in order to increase your chances of seeing wildlife. Pura vida, welcome whenever you are. Some animals may even come to visit you. Number eight is tubing. Tubing was a lot of fun and it was a great way to enjoy the rainforest. The water is pretty calm and perfect for all ages. Number seven is the hot springs. Something you don't want to miss is going in a thermal hot spring. The hot springs are heated by the magma of the resting Arenal volcano. Number six is a chocolate tour. This chocolate tour was just what we needed after a few days of hiking. We learned all about coffee and chocolate beans from farm to table. What made this tour so unique is that not only did we get to taste the cacao pod fruit, we also got to taste many tropical fruits that were grown right on the property. Everything was so fresh and yummy. We even got to make our own natural Costa Rican juice boxes. And our own fresh sugarcane juice, which was very good and very sweet. We love this tour and we think you will too. Number five is zip lining. This activity is our number one pick for best value. This half day activity will take you through a cloud forest, hanging bridges, multiple zip lines, including the longest zip line in Costa Rica. One repel, two Superman zip lines, and a crazy Tarzan swing. At first, it was scary, but when I was swinging, it was so fun. Number four is ATVing. The instructors were super nice and even allowed all of us kids to drive. You start off in a training circuit, and then once you're ready, you can move to the lush Costa Rican forest. We almost decided to skip this activity because it was raining. But we are so glad that we did it because the mud puddles made it so much more fun. We went through the rainforest on bumpy volcanic rocks, up hills, down hills, and also this pleasant surprise. It was an amazing day. Number three is whitewater rafting. We were lucky enough to go rafting on the beautiful Pakuare River. We enjoyed seeing the many birds and butterflies on this river. This is a three hour rafting tour with many class three and class four rapids. Our guide Nella was fantastic. We were so happy to get her as our guide as she really knew the river well. She did an amazing job steering the raft. It is because of her that we felt safe and no one fell out. The rapids were pretty consistent throughout the three hours, so don't expect a lot of downtime, except for the very end when you can jump in the water. Number two is the beaches. Shh, come check out our favorite uncrowded beach. Stay tuned to hear all the reasons why we love this beach so much. So welcome to Montana Surf School. We do lessons here. We've been doing this 18 years, so we have a lot of experience. Anytime you wanna come and join us, always welcome.
The private surfing lessons were so much fun. The instructors were so good. We spent so many hours in the water riding waves. We also took two breaks where we had a chance to rest, have some water and fresh fruits. This beach had everything you needed, from the gentle waves, to shaded seating, to banana boat rides, to fresh coconut water on the beach, to restaurants nearby, and of course, beautiful sunsets. And number one is waterfall rappelling. This activity was unbelievable. We went waterfall rappelling with Pure Trek Canyoneering. We did four waterfall rappels, one wall rappel, climbed a rock wall, and got soaked in a monkey drop. It was just a beautiful and incredible experience. Don't forget to look around as it's pretty amazing. The view from the bottom of the waterfall was equally as stunning. The guides at each station did a really good job and we felt safe at all times. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe.